Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my spring, early summer 2023 wish list. So this is more items that I've just been enjoying, seeing styled on other people, on Pinterest, on Instagram, on YouTube, and some stuff that I may be considering buying for myself. But it's a little bit more of a mood board as opposed to a wish list because I'm not necessarily planning on going out and purchasing all of these items. It's more just what's inspiring me, what I've been enjoying seeing lately in terms of fashion. So let's get straight into the video. The first thing I've been enjoying seeing styled on everyone is very much a trend at the moment, but also a classic and definitely a Parisian French style classic as well. And that is ballet flats or Mary Janes or the kind of hybrid between the two. I'm just really liking this kind of shoe at the moment and particularly how it's being styled in a more modern way. So I think gone are the days where we're pairing ballet flats with super, super feminine outfits and kind of looking very traditionally feminine. I think now um, in 2023, I'm seeing them paired with looser trousers, baggy jeans, wide leg jeans, to kind of bring that um, feminine touch to maybe a more masculine silhouette or androgynous silhouette. So I have been really enjoying that lately and a ballet flats are not something I've owned in a long, long time. I think the last time I owned a pair of ballet flats was probably in about 2012. So we're looking at about 10 years ago and I really would, this is one of those items in this video that I would actually like to add to my wardrobe because I do think although they are a trend, they're also a classic and I don't see myself tiring of them once the trend has come and gone. I feel like they're a good shoe, they're an easy shoe, they go with a lot of things. Um, they're not the most comfortable maybe, which is my only sort of niggle. I remember wearing a lot of ballet flats when I was growing up and them not being very comfortable, particularly the ones that are super flat and have no support but maybe I can look into ones that are a little bit more cushioned. I've seen a few that I like the look of. If you saw my And Other Stories video recently, I did try a pair of, they're kind of like Mary Janes because they've got the strap across the foot. Um, I sent those back in the end because I wasn't 100% sure about them. And some people recommended me other brands to try. So Vagabond have some really beautiful Mary Janes and ballet flats actually. They've got this creamy off-white pair that I really like the look of. I'm considering those. They've got a slightly more squared almond toe as opposed to a very round toe, which I think makes them look a little bit cooler, a little bit more modern. What other brands have I seen? I've seen Flattered as well, all these shoe brands that I have never tried. I've tried Vagabond once, I've had a pair of Vagabond boots, but I've never tried Flattered and I would be quite keen to test them out. They do some nice ones. I also saw they do some without a back. So if you're looking for more of a, what do you call that? I don't know, like a ballet flat without a back. I can't remember the name of it now, um, but maybe they're a little bit more appropriate for summer when it gets warmer. So I liked those as well. I think I'm looking for like, I don't know, on one hand I want a black pair because they're so classic, so traditional, and I feel like they're just a really good staple. And then on the other hand, and I also feel like they're a little bit more practical, because on the other hand I want like a nudie cream white pair, but then I'm thinking how quickly are they gonna get dirty? I don't know. So I'm not sure, I'm still on the hunt. And then I was also looking secondhand as well. Um, I was looking at some Chanel ballet flats secondhand on Vestiaire and eBay, um, and kind of having a look to see if I could find a pair, because I do really like the Chanel ballet flats. I like the black ones um, with the cap toe that's also in black. And I also like the nude ones with the black cap toe. I know you can get them cheaper from other brands, like very good dupes, but I would kind of be interested to test out a Chanel pair and see if they're worth the hype. Um, and they are, again, they're a style like, particularly the Chanel ones are really back for this year. So I don't know, I definitely never buy them full price, but maybe if I could get a really good deal on them secondhand. Um, and there were some other brands that did some secondhand as well, like Miu Miu obviously do the very kind of ballet core, very ballet slipper looking shoes, which I think I wouldn't buy just because they're a bit too trendy. They're a little bit too costumey. Um, and then I also saw Prada do some which were quite simple, just plain black patent ones with a bow and a little Prada logo on the front. 
So those are the few options that I've seen. Um, you can pretty much find them anywhere at the moment, which is nice because they are such a trend. Um, and as I said, it really does fit that kind of Parisian style, Parisian aesthetic that I enjoy anyway. So I feel like they would serve a purpose in my wardrobe even after the trend has gone. So that's the first item. The second item are denim midi and maxi skirts. This is another one that is huge, one of the biggest trends of 2023. We're seeing a lot of denim, but we're particularly seeing denim skirts and long line denim skirts. I've only really ever worn short denim skirts, mini denim skirts, A-line ones, the ones with the buttons down the front. Um, and I've worn those before and enjoyed them, but yeah, we're seeing these midi and maxi lengths, which I think is really interesting. I don't think I've ever sort of been alive or at least into fashion when these have been in style. I know they probably were in style about 20, 25 years ago, um, perhaps in the 90s. But yeah, they've never really come around um, since I've been into fashion. So this is something new for me and I'm quite intrigued by it. I like the idea of them because they're a good alternative to jeans. I wear jeans so often, probably five out of seven of my outfits involve a pair of jeans. And while I love them and they're always gonna be a classic, it is nice to maybe switch it up and have denim but in a skirt and it kind of serves the same purpose because you're not having to get your legs out like you would with a denim midi skirt, mini skirt, sorry, but it just looks a bit different and a little bit more modern, a little bit more trend led. So. I'm definitely interested in these. I have tried on two. I tried on the one from And Other Stories. I tried that on in store a couple of months ago and it didn't fit me 100%. I think I'm gonna struggle. I think denim midi skirts and maxi skirts are not necessarily made for people who have body types like mine because often they're 100% cotton, they're rigid, no stretch. Um, and they just don't tend to fit. They were like super tight on my legs and hips, too big on the waist. Classic story, very similar to when you're shopping for a pair of jeans. Um, and then I also tried on one in COS and that the fit of that was even worse. And it was a little bit too short. I want one that's quite long line, I think, that also has um, a split up the front or at the back, just to make movement a little bit easier and to add some interest as well. Cause otherwise it can look very heavy to have that full block of denim without breaking it up at all. So I'm on the hunt for one of these. I've seen one on, I have seen Cos bring out a few different iterations and Arquette as well. So I'm thinking maybe I should try them and see if they're any better than the one I tried on. Cause I think the one I tried on in store is out of stock now anyway. And I also saw one on Massimo Duty, which looked interesting and promising. And I also saw this skirt on Massimo Duty as well, which is actually a linen skirt, but it looks like a denim wrap skirt, which I thought was really interesting because I imagine it's a lot more breathable, um, a lot easier to walk in and move about in, probably better for the summer um, when thick denim is gonna be a bit hot and stifling, but, but it still kind of has that look. So I would definitely be interested in trying this skirt. I also think maybe it would fit me better because it's it's more relaxed um, and it's not as rigid it might just fit my proportions a little bit better and I can still kind of get the look without actually having to get one of these really rigid skirts so I'm debating this one instead and trying it and seeing what it's like um, but yeah again this is something you can get at a lot of retailers at the moment because it is so on trend I think I just need to consider whether I would actually wear this beyond this year like would I see myself reaching for a denim midi or maxi skirt once the trend has passed. I think on one hand I would because it's denim, I love denim, I'm always reaching for denim and it's it's still quite a classic. I know it is very trendy at the moment but I don't feel like you're ever gonna feel really out of place or really outdated wearing denim of any kind of kind. So on one hand yes and then on the other hand I'm thinking if they're not very practical, if they're not very comfortable, easy to walk in, then I'm probably not gonna reach for it. So I'm still unsure about this one. Let me know what you think about the denim midi maxi skirt trend. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you tried it? Let me know your thoughts. Next up, we have something that I feel like has been on my wish list every year for about the past six years. And I've never really bought one. And that is a basket bag. So um, I just always want a basket bag at this time of year. It always comes up as something on my wish list that they always come up in spring and summertime. They're just the epitome of summer fashion for me. I think I just really love the texture that they bring to an outfit. It's something different to leather or suede even. It's something 
something with a more summery, lighter, more casual texture. Really love them, the look of them on a holiday, but also on a hot summer's day here as well. They're fairly practical because they're usually quite big, not necessarily super secure, but for any kind of picnics or beach days or anything like that, I feel like I would get use out of one. I've never, as I said, I've never really owned one, surprisingly. I did buy my wicker, it's not wicker, my leather woven bag last year from Bembian, which I absolutely love, but it is still leather at the end of the day, so it doesn't necessarily bring that different texture, although it does have the woven, it's almost like the Bottega kind of woven um, leather look to it. It is different, but it's still, it's not quite the same as like a raffia, a straw or a wicker, so. I'm still debating whether to get a basket bag or not for this year. I feel like they were a trend a few years ago, but now they're almost like a classic. They've almost gone beyond being a trend because they're just so, they're just so nice. They're just so good. And they are, you know, they're fairly neutral. They're practical, so they seem to be lasting, outlasting the trend cycle. In terms of which one I'd get, I still don't know, which is one of the reasons I've never made the purchase because I'm so indecisive. I do like the ones that Suzanne brought out recently, the ones they did in a few different colors. I particularly liked the green one, but I also liked the plain natural one as well. They do loads of baskets on Suzanne if you're looking for something with a little bit more detail to it, something that has like embroidered flowers or a different shape or design they have a lot to choose from they're quite expensive though and and i do agree someone commented on that video saying that you could get them thrifted second hand or cheaper kind of the same material and i do agree i think they are a lot for what they are but i also think i would use it a lot it would be one of my go-to bags in the summer so i'm not necessarily opposed to spending a little bit more if there's one i really really like the look of so yeah, the, the jury's still out on that. I was also thinking about looking secondhand as well for something like a Loewe basket bag, because I feel like they are really like, if you're going for a designer basket bag, those are the ones to get. I like the classic one that's been in style for like six years now that you see everyone has every year. I do still really like that one. I also like the more updated ones that they've brought out for this year and last year. But again, this is not something I'd buy full price. I'd definitely look on the secondhand market because you can find them for a lot cheaper. And they're, because they have been around for so long now, for a good six, seven years, there are quite a lot on the secondhand market. So that's something I'm considering as well. Okay, next up, a brand I've been really wanting to try. I mentioned this brand a few months ago as on my kind of list of brands to try in 2023. And I still really wanna try them, but particularly now, because I've been really loving the collections that they've been releasing sort of this spring summer and that is me and M. I feel like they just have some really good what looks like really high quality pieces quite expensive so investment pieces for sure but stuff that's very classic and I've just been really enjoying the look of so there was this striped linen cotton trouser wide leg trouser that I really like the look of. I think it might come with a matching jacket or vest as well. Absolutely love these trousers with a plain white tee and a basket bag, some brown leather sandals. I really envisage that as like a spring, cooler summer day outfit. I also really like some of their dresses and some of their shoes and jackets and coats as well. I just think they're one of those really underrated brands and I feel like they haven't peaked yet. I feel like more and more, as more and more people discover them, they're gonna get more and more popular because I just think the quality, everything I've ever heard about their quality is amazing, particularly for the price point. It obviously is expensive, but I would say it's a similar price point to Suzanne and I've heard that the quality is, is much better. So let me know if you've tried me and M, if there's anything you'd particularly recommend. I, I think I particularly have my eye on any of their tailored pieces. I think that's what they do best is tailoring. So those smarter trousers that still are very relaxed because they're a wide leg, they're a lighter color, but they're a little bit smarter and alternative to jeans. Um, and yeah, like their tailored jackets, blazers, things like that as well. I've definitely got my eye on them and I'm hoping to do a video trying a few bits from the brand sometime soon. So let me know if you would like to see that. Another thing I wanted to talk about in this video is this latest drop from Suzanne. So what are we thinking about this floral pattern? Because when I saw it initially, I really didn't like it. It was like an instant like, oh no, that's not for me. And I know a few people have said that as well. However, for some reason, the more I looked at it over kind of the, 
is it the Saturday evening before it dropped and then the Sunday morning when it dropped the more it grew on me and I have actually ended up ordering this dress I particularly liked this dress um, but I did like the midi skirt as well the pleated midi skirt not so much a fan of the longer dress but yeah this mini dress I just there was something about it I was like I really want to try this I don't know if I will like it because I'm still like do I actually like this pattern or did I really want it because I saw that the dress was selling out because I think it did completely sell out so obviously a lot of people did like it but it's definitely one that kind of divides people it is quite loud and although it's fairly neutral colors there's just something about it that is quite statement but I really liked the cut of the dress actually I think the long sleeved mini dress I'm a big fan of a long sleeved mini dress I feel like it's nice when I've got my legs out, I almost wanna cover my arms, I don't know, just to kind of have that balance. Um, and I really liked the cut and it just looked like a really lovely quality. It's a linen cotton blend, which I thought was nice. It was quite expensive, but yeah, I'm, I'm eager to review this for you, but let me know what you think of the pattern. Cause I know a few people said they really, really didn't like it and I can definitely see why. So that is one that I have already ordered and I'm excited to arrive so I can review for you. There were quite a few things from Sedan's drops recently that I did like, particularly weirdly the bridal collection. Um, a lot of the white pieces like the white trousers and one of the, uh, the, the is it called the, oh, I can't remember what it's called now, the June skirt, I think, in the white. Again, I'm really into these pleated skirts at the moment. I just bought my one from And Other Stories, the, the lilac one with the white flowers, and I absolutely love it. I think this year I'm really into skirts, whether it's the denim skirts, that linen skirt from Massimo Duty, or these pleated skirts. I just really like them. They're really comfortable. They're really breezy, but they're just, like, really easy to style with a jumper, a t-shirt, a blouse. Um... You can wear them with boots, you can wear them with sandals. There's something about them I really like. So yeah, I'm tempted to try the June skirt as well in the white, because I thought that was very pretty. I also like it in the vintage blue actually as well, but I probably don't need that one because I've already got a colorful one from and other stories. So I'd probably go for a neutral one if I was gonna get another one. But yeah, I did also like the floral one that came out of the um, that more floral drop. That one is quite a statement. I don't know how much. I feel like that is a piece that I like to look at, but I probably would get sick of in my wardrobe after a few months. So I'd probably be better off going with the plain white one. But yeah, these pleated skirts, that's definitely another thing that I've been really enjoying and I've been seeing quite a lot of recently as well. I think this year is very much the year of kind of the midi, the maxi skirt um, in so many different iterations. And I'm definitely here for it. It's very comfortable. It's flattering on a lot of people. You don't have to kind of get a lot of skin out um, and it still looks really nice and it's still really as I said quite light and comfortable to wear in the summer although I will say a lot of those pleated skirts are made of polyester I think because of the pleats how they hold they often have to be made of polyester I'm sure I heard someone say that somewhere so that's why I think but yeah it's, I guess it's not ideal for hot weather the final thing item I've been liking the look of on other people and I wanted to talk to you about, and this is definitely another trend for 2023. It's one of these, this is really seems to be the year of like classic pieces being on trend. So like a lot of denim, the ballet flats and these tweed cropped jackets. I've been seeing these absolutely everywhere for the past couple of months. And surprisingly, I'm really into them. I never thought I was a tweed person, um, but I think if you're doing it in like a plain neutral color or even a plain colorful color, for example, this green one that I've seen from Urban Revivo, I really like that. I also like a real just cream one with gold buttons or a black one with gold buttons, um, as opposed to like the traditional kind of checked tweed, which I'm not as into. I think looks a little bit, can look a little bit grannyish. Um, but yeah, I like these plain ones and crop jackets are something I've not really been into for the past few years. Um, I don't really have any that are waist length. I've got a few jackets that are more hip length or um, bum length, but a lot of my jackets are fuller length like my trench coats. So I am kind of intrigued by this tweed crop jacket trend. And I would like, I think if I was gonna get one, I would probably get a cream ecru one with gold buttons, as I said, quite a plain, simple one. I've seen some, as I said, I saw some from Urban Revivo. I'm not sure on the quality of those. I also saw some from Cos, I think it was, and potentially Massimo Duty as well. Um, so this is something that I've not decided whether I'm going to add into my wardrobe yet, potentially at some point. I'm holding off until I either find the perfect one 
or potentially the trend passes and I actually decide it's not something I want in my wardrobe long term, which could definitely happen because I'm still a little bit on the fence. So let me know what you think of the tweed cropped jacket trend, whether you like it. Is it a classic? It kind of is, right? It's very Chanel-esque, Celine-esque. I do think it is a classic, but I think you have to have a certain style to want to wear it all the time because it is quite feminine. It's quite a traditional style. So I would probably want to edge it up a little bit and wear it with some wide leg denim again, or perhaps a denim maxi skirt as well, just to give it a little bit of a modern twist. That is everything I want to talk to you about today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the visuals and seeing what I've been looking at recently, what I've been liking. Um, anything that I have talked about that is a specific item, I will leave link down below in case you want to check it out. I will also leave links to my Instagram down below if you would like to follow me on there. I'm currently taking part in the Parisian style 10 by 10. So if you want to see lots more of my daily outfits, my ca quite casual outfits, capsule wardrobe, then go to Instagram and you can follow me over there. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, if you would like to see one of these, these videos every season, because I can definitely do that if it's something you want. And um, here are some more videos for you to continue watching if you'd like to continue watching on my channel. Thanks for all your support as always, all your comments, your likes, it really does mean so much to me and I'll see you very soon in my next video.